Okay, here's the, uh, here's the exciting part here. We created the site. We now we need to upload the site to the servers. The client can take a look at it. So pay close attention to this. There's a couple of ways we can do this. We set up the FTP information. So if we go to Window for a second, Window Files, here's my files for the local files that are on your computer. And if I click right here, this is going to connect to the server. Okay, so right now there's nothing on the server. Right now, here's our local pages that we made version 1, version 2, version 3. So, how do we get these files on the server? Well, we don't drag, unlike file transfer protocol applications like fetch or transmit, we're not going to drag anything. Dreamweaver knows, needs to know exactly, I'm sorry, Dreamweaver knows exactly where to put the files. So here's how it works. We have two choices. We can come here and say upload file, file upload, command shift U, Windows control shift U. That's one way. Other way we can do this is we can come here and say post inside of a browser, preview browser, shortcut command F12. Now this is set up basically on the file menu. So file menu, preview and browser, you can edit your browser list. So if you take a look at how I set mine up, I have Firefox as my secondary browser, and I have Chrome, Google Chrome, as my primary browser. You can do this any way you choose. So the difference being is option 12 is the first browser, Command F12, I'm sorry, option F12 is your first browser. Command F12 defaults to your second browser. Windows, of course, that would be Control F12, Control uh, uh, Alt F12, Alt F12, Control F12. So, understand the difference. The objective here is to get this file on your web server when we set up our FTP information. So, important step here. Whether you upload to the server or publish to the server, it's the same thing. The only difference is this. So we're going to take this file and upload it to the server. So Command Shift U. Now Dreamweaver is going to ask us a few questions. It's going to say, do you want to put the dependent file? So as an example, dependent files are the files that this file depends on, which would be the images. So if you say no, I'm going to intentionally make a mistake here and say no. So it's going to take this file, it's going to upload it to the server. Now, how do I know it's on the server? Because if you go to Window, Window, Files, Files, Windows, if you refresh this, you can see there's a file. But because I said dependent files, no, it did not upload the images. So therefore, I'm going to have broken links. I'm not going to have the images in here. So I'd have to say, if you do this again, you'd want to say get, sorry, put, Put, put on, and get off, get off the internet, put on the internet. And, and shift U, Windows FB control shift U. So let's do this again. So put onto the server. Dependent files, yes. Okay, so now when I go ahead and look at my files, file manager, I can see here's the images folder. And inside the images folder, it put those appropriate images right here, including the logo and the four thumbnails. So there was no dragging here, guys. It did the whole thing for you. Dreamweaver knows exactly where to put the files because we set up the FTP. We set up the file path. So as an example, this is something we did in our very first video. So as long as you establish the root folder, Dreamweaver takes care of the rest. There's no dragging. There's no dropping. There's simply uploading. So again, the difference is this will upload the file, but then I have to go to a web browser and I get to type in the address. Well, that can be very tedious, especially if you have different versions, version one, version two, version three. So let's look at a different way. Because our FTP is set up and because we went to preview browser here, if I hit option F12 or command F12, Windows that'd be control F12, alt F12. So let's do this. I'm going to hit Command F12. So it's going to say testing server, yes. Now if you say testing server, no, nothing's going to happen. 
So I'm going to say test and set. Yes. Then it's going to say, do you want to put your dependent files? Well, this particular case, the dependent files are already up there. Already said yes to this. So as long as you didn't make a change, as an example, as long as I didn't go in and put a wig on this monkey or put a mustache on them, as long as you didn't physically change the images, you can say dependent files. No, because you're already on the server. Really said yes. So you don't have to keep saying yes. We're going to say no. Just like that, it's now physically, positively on the web. So here's my web address. So I can take this web address, send it to my client so they can view the page. So how cool is that? So Dreamweaver did the whole thing for me. This is positively, absolutely on the internet. So if you had a friend in Iceland right now, you can send them this web address. They would see this page. How cool is that? Okay, now the hyperlink is working. But if I click here, nothing happens because it's going to the pound symbol. Okay, so this is the title of the page, properly titled, and this page is properly posted. Okay, so let's go back to Dreamweaver. Okay, so again, depending on the version that you have here, in this particular case, version 12, version 13, version 14, you can post those different versions on your web server. Okay, so as an example, let's say I'm just going to make a slight change here. I'm going to say save as file, save as, let's call this version 12b. This is just going to be a slight change, and the change I'd like to make here is I want to make these hyperlinks slightly darker. So that was the site nav a tag, a tag inside the site nav. So how do I change that? I simply double click. And I'm going to go to the background color, and I'm going to go to this color wheel right here, and I'm just going to say, let's make these a little darker. Make them a little darker, and let's actually push them closer to the purple side. So I've made a change. Okay, so that the links are slightly different. Make a change, save a change. So I have this version that I can show the client, and I have this version I can show the client. So how do I publish this to the server? The same exact way. File, anything about a file's on the file menu. So file, preview browser, and Firefox, which is command F12. Now, I just want to share something with you. This is a problem I have with Adobe. This should really be called publish in browser because what does the word preview mean? Preview means it's not really on the web. It's the coming attraction. This should really be called Publish in Browser because that's really what it's doing. But you're actually seeing the page inside of a browser and it's publishing it on the web. It does two things for you. Publishes the page and shows you the page on the server. So let's do this again. Okay, so at F12. Testing server, yes, dependent files. No, because I didn't make changes to my dependent files. Nor did I import new dependent files. So how cool is that? So there is version 12b, there's version 12, 12b, 12. So which one do you like? Okay, let's go back to 12. Okay, so in the next step here in the next video, we're going to inside of Dreamweaver, we're going to make a three-step process to create the final pages and post all five pages to the server. I'm going to show you how to do this. We're going to create five pages in about a couple minutes in our next video, so stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe, make sure that you like the video. Again, I apologize about my voice, but I have a voice issue and there's nothing I can do about it. It's kind of a shame because I make my living off my voice teaching stuff, so if you can just uh, bear with me, we'll get through this. So talk to you soon.